everyone welcome back y'all we are back here late on friday i apologize but we had to run around and do a bunch today my daughter had two appointments she had a neurology appointment this morning it went well but they want to see her back in 30 days and they gave her quite a bit of medication and she's dealing with a lot of migraines and things of that nature then we went over to pt this afternoon they have released her to do light sports so i'll be talking with swim coach on monday to find out exactly if she's able to jump back into competitions or what they feel necessary and she's got a follow-up appointment with them in 30 days for pt as well so y'all besides that we have opened our shop it is going to be linked in the description box down below we do have a bunch of trackers that will be going on up on it over the weekend we're looking at putting up about 10 trackers per day for quite a while in the future right now um, we will be taking a little bit of a break and this weekend as well to make 21 trackers for our high school binder, y'all. With that being said, I'm super excited. It looks like I may be going ahead and working with a fellow Etsy shop. And I won't mention it right now who it is because we're talking about something when it comes to labels. And you probably already know who it is because I always tell you to go to one person for labels, especially custom labels, but any labels whatsoever. Because um, I want those kind of labels for the high school binder like Danya has on hers because I'm going to be releasing the binder set this week. I'm super, super excited. I'll be able to show you that on Monday, y'all. So with that being said, there are going to be a couple trackers that you will not catch on my shop right now. But they will be going up tonight and tomorrow for those that are not already on there. But we have 13 trackers already listed and one set of trackers. So I have a set here that we've started. I'm going to go ahead and speak about that here in a minute. But first of all, we need to get our cash stuffing done for this binder. And since we have been super, super busy, y'all, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are not doing any kind of filming because that is our <laughs> big time Etsy shop type situation that was going on. But we do are going to be doing five videos a week, which I know is a lot of videos. So out of all that money transferred that we had, I've been telling you guys about this entire week. And these cash stuffings are unusually come bigger, larger than normal. Um, let's recap on Monday out of the 7,900. We used 1,500 on Monday for our holiday and celebrations. On Wednesday, we used 4,017 for our home section of our binder. That left us with 2,383, 2,383. Today, we are going to be using $188 of that money, which means, y'all, I do not, and I do mean do not, have to put any of my personal money in here, and I'm super duper happy about that. Y'all know this was an account that was 17 years old, and I forgot about it. So, you know, kudos. <laughs> I forgot about it. That's a good thing um, because it came back to help me exactly when I needed it. So we are using $188 today. We're going to go ahead and count the cash. We're going to go ahead and stuff this. One of these envelopes is going to be fully funded. I'm super excited. And we're going to show you the trackers because every tracker that's in these envelopes now is trackers that are sold on our Etsy shop. Um, we'll talk about that here in a minute. So we got 50 55, 60, 61, 62, 63. This is put aside because this is going directly into one envelope to clear that amount today. So it's fully funded. So it was 63, 73, 83, 93, 103, 113, 123, 133. And I'm separating things, y'all. 133, so 143, 153, 163, 173. 183, 188. So there we go. I am working really hard to keep things separated and not make any mess ups. And again, if I mess up here on my channel and I put something in the wrong or I have the wrong denominations, please don't hesitate to let me know so I can go back and swap it. Always remember that I'm cashless budgeter here at the house. I don't want money at my house. Everything stays in the bank. So, and that keeps it safe because somebody can come in y'all and they can rob your house and they can undrill a safe from your floor they can take a safe out of your house it's their issue on how they open it but once it's out of your house you don't have access to that money and you don't have that money anymore not that i feel safe about putting things in the bank either because banks are going down left and right but at this moment that is the only option i have is to put it somewhere like that where it's out of my house so we don't have an issue all right let's talk about our first envelope our first envelope is the envelope that we're working on to fill bella up for her 500 dollars for 2024. Now, Jaya and Tucker do have an appointment next month, which is <laughs> this coming week, <laughs> y'all, because April's starting this week. Um, but with that being said, 
they have already got their vetted money and they will be going in. Now they are fully funded until 2024. That will be all their money. They'll have 2024 covered and then I'll be working on 2025. Bella came to me fully vetted already. And so it's perfect because she slid in right in time and we're working on getting her up to $500 for 2024 so I can have her fully funded with the other two chihuahuas. So right now we needed $63 to fully fund that. That's why the 63 was setting aside. So we are going to put the 63 in here and then we are going to start really saving for emergency vet visits. Anything that happens, I do want to show you the, we have two trackers in here. I just decided to put two copies because my son made two copies, but this is our pet ER fund and that is for anything that is an emergency type situation, surgeries, they need to go into the ER, things of that nature. Y'all know that pets can get super expensive and if they're going to an emergency room, um, that's super duper expensive. Um, anything of that nature. My son created all of these trackers for y'all. So I'm super excited. He is on board. He is a creator on my shop and he's going to get paid for it. And I'm super excited for that. So anyways, Jaya has been fully funded until 24. And then Tucker's been fully funded until 2024. That We have all the money all the way through 2024. And we'll, in 2024, we'll be working on 2025. And now Miss Bella is fully taken care of. If you haven't seen my last YouTube short, you should because... That's showing you how Bella sleeps on my Bambi pillow at night. <laughs> so with that being said, or during the day, she takes naps and things like that. So you'll be able to catch a glimpse of our newest Chihuahua, Bella, who is five. So our next one is my bedroom makeover, y'all. And again, all these trackers can be found on my Etsy store. I will link that down in the description box below. We got a lot more things to do on our Etsy store, y'all. We just opened it up. I haven't gotten a banner up. I I'm just, we got to do a lot of things because... We've been busy, y'all. And when I say we, I mean my son. I've been telling him what to do. He's been doing the trackers. <laughs> so with that being said, we are putting $10 into our bedroom makeover for my husband and I. Once I get this fully funded and we have my bedroom done, then I'm going to move on to Danya's bedroom. And I'm going to remake over her entire bedroom, y'all. She is so into Vampire Diaries. It's crazy. Um, so we're going to make over her room. And after that, we're going to make over Philip and Jesse's room. So there we go. New computer. We're saving up for Philip's new computer now and I just closed that yes I did ah uh, so he is getting a desktop computer we're only going to buy the tower because once again $10 is going in once again he is going to get um a regular tv screen as the monitor it's a flat screen we have one in our living room it works perfect and then when he doesn't want to watch that and maybe he just wants to flip over to any kind of app that he has for streaming it has got it already built in. He won't need any kind of Roku device or anything of that nature. So $10 went into that. And yes, this is a new tracker he made. Again, this entire set is all new trackers from my son. And I'm switching all of my trackers over to the ones that my son is making so that we can be in line with what we've got here. New clothing is getting 10. That's for the kiddos. Now this includes winter, summer, spring, and fall. It's all four seasons together. If there is a tracker you guys want me to make, please let me know in the, in the comment section down below and we'll get it made. If it's one specifically that you want made that has maybe somebody's name on it or a pet name or something specific that maybe I just sell to you, let me know and we can make arrangements so that I can get that to you um, privately if you need me to have it done that way. Oh, I was talking, where am I at here? Am I at homeschool? <laughs> Nope, I just put that in for the clothing. And y'all, did I, yep, yep, nope, let me see. I might have had that upside down. I don't even know if I had that upside down. If I did, it's in there right now, right side up. These are all A6, as you understand, with the trackers, because that's what we do, is A6. I'm obsessed with A6. Our next one is homeschool. Now, we're putting 10 in there today. I lump homeschool all together. Uh, but for those of you who do have your children going outside of home to go to facilities to be able to homeschool in certain facilities a couple of days a week, I can make a tracker for that as well if you guys are interested in that. I lump all of homeschool together. My kids do not go to a schooling outside of the house, but I lump everything from field trips to homeschool supplies to school supplies, all of that stuff into one category because otherwise I'll be making like a hundred categories. Ten dollars is going into there today. Oops, there we go. Put ah uh oh hold on something's one of my there it goes. Didn't want to go all the way in. So after that we have travel and this was by Lisa Marie Budgets. This is our 52 week tracker that we have. Today we're gonna have in 10 
or 52 weeks. We're gonna be doing different amounts today. It's gonna to be 10, but she put that tracker out back in late December. I think I shared it in January. It is on my community post as well. And it was a 52 week tracker where you could put your own money amounts in and not have to follow the exact classical 52 weeks where you put the certain number in each day. So I love that. Again, it's on Lisa Marie budget community post. It's also on mine. Feel free to go to either one and you can download and print strictly for free. Our next envelope, y'all. Now I did go ahead, I believe it was yesterday, and I was talking to, <laughs> y'all know her because you know the no envelope challenge is going to come out now. Um, and believe it or not, it's actually in an envelope, but it does not have to be. You could put it in a jar, you could put it in a box, you could put it in a plain envelope, but y'all know who she is. It's Liz and Les. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, you know what? I said, I wanted to make this for you. I told my son, I said, just put 10 envelopes on there and each envelope represents 10 for the $100, y'all. The $10 that's going in today is going to complete our 10 weeks at $10 making it $100, and that is going to be put into my bedroom makeover. So, y'all, like we said before, and I'm telling you, Liz has told you many, many times, you don't need an envelope. You don't need a fancy tracker. You don't need any of that fancy stuff. Get a jar, get a shoebox, get old envelopes, get whatever you want. Even if you have one of these cheaper envelopes like this, you can get one of these, whatever. Even if you have a binder like I do, you can put it in there and just put $10 a week away for 10 weeks, guess what? Now you got an extra $100 you can put into anything. You can spend it, you can put it in other challenges or whatnot. This is available as well on my Etsy store, y'all. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So it does have a denomination. Most of my trackers will not have a denomination because everybody's finances are different. And I want you to be able to feel comfortable that when you're doing your trackers, that you can put in whatever you want. And y'all know if you buy with the tracker, you can reprint it over and over and over again. So with that being said, $10 is going in. This is completing our $100 for our 10 week challenge. And I will be moving that out. This will be empty and y'all, we're gonna continue to roll with this. So this was a idea that I created through what Liz and Les was doing on the old envelope where you put $10 in and who cannot do with an extra $100 lying around, like seriously. So we know what we get with this an assignment to go into my better makeover and we're just going to complete it again and again. And I love, love, love it. All right. So our next one is emergency cash. And again, who can't do without emergency cash? So you can use this as an emergency fund or you can use it as emergency cash. If you're short on cash that week and you need to pull from somewhere, use this as like a buffer and pull from here. So $10 is going in to emergency cash, y'all. And here in a minute, we're about to show you a new set of trackers that we are starting to create as of today. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. <laughs> here is our next one. Our next one is my weight tracker. And I haven't put the amounts in, but once again, 99.9% .9 of my trackers are not going to have an actual amount or whatnot. What we do, and I'm gonna show you this one. And so I hit the bottom. You can decide how much each scale is gonna give you, and you can put your total in over here so it's all customizable when it comes to personalizing it for your budget. Now, I am doing $5 down for every scale. Y'all, I'm one pound down, and that is it on the dot. Like, <laughs> I haven't moved very much. One pound is better than nothing, and it's better than going in the wrong direction. So $5 is going into there today. All right, so our next tracker is our Team Mustard tracker, y'all. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but we're putting Team Mustard before we put Team Ketchup. It's just it's just how it's going to have to be, okay? I, I got to do my Team Mustard first. Team Mustard is getting $15 today. So 5, 10, and 15, and wait till you see the next envelope. And yes, Liz gave me my mustard sticker, y'all. And those stickers are hard to get off those little backings, y'all. They're, they're, they're hard. <laughs> it took me a minute. So $15 towards, towards Team Mustard. Yes, this is for me to stock up on all things mustard that I love. Honey mustard, spicy brown mustard, classic ballpark type mustard. I love mustard, y'all. And I put hot sauce in my honey mustard and I make it a spicier mustard. So that is for all team things mustard, plus it's for some of the summer foods and things of that nature. So 
that is what we have. Now look what she gave me. She gave me Team Ketchup, y'all. <laughs> she gave me an actual sticker for Team Ketchup. In fact, she gave me two of them. One is for Jessica, one is for me. She ran off with hers. Thank you, Liz. We absolutely love it. I appreciate it. So we're putting $15 towards Team Ketchup. Team Ketchup is gonna go towards all things wieners, y'all, like Polish sausages, bratwurst, hot dogs, you name it. If it's in a wiener type form, that's what we're saving for. And for other things, obviously, for uh, summer time, summertime foods as well. And yes, for ketchup stock up for Miss Jessica, who's going through so much ketchup. It's absolutely insane what she goes through. But $15 for team ketchup. And because all of you guys were on there telling me team ketchup, team mustard, I forgot to pull the ones, y'all. So I promise next time I will pull those ones and I will put them into either Team Mustard or Team Ketchup that I just caught that I forgot to add those extra dollars in. So just now, next week, I promise you, <laughs> we will be putting in the amounts for Team Ketchup or Team Mustard for all of you who said which team you're on. And y'all, there's more Team Ketchup than there is Mustard. Something's not right with y'all. <laughs> so there we go. Um, again, I apologize. I'll get that in next time. All right, next two are new ones that have not, well, one of them has hit the um, Etsy shop. The other one will be up tonight. This one is an Amazon Prime membership, y'all. And <laughs> I, I, I'm i not ready for Amazon Prime, okay? I'm not anywhere near close, and it's almost due for me. Mine is due in July, so I'm going to bulk this up ASAP, F-A-S-T, okay? <laughs> Super fast. Now, I do have the amount listed on here for what each icon is, and you're gonna save 150. So we all know Amazon Prime's just under 150, but I've got the icon set up so that each icon equals a certain amount, and then you go to 150. I believe each icon is $5. So, y'all, we are running so far behind on this. I will be bulking this up. With that being said, I'm putting $10 worth in there because I'm not near 140, and I need to get there before July comes. I will be making a Sam's Club membership one as well. I'll make one for the $50 and I will make one for the $100 membership. Now, in fact, I'm going to actually put $10 over. Um, I think it's closer to $60, but I'm going to look at Sam's Club and see if they're still in the $50 range. If they are, we'll do a $50 one and we'll do the $100 one for the bigger plan as well for those of you with Sam's Club. And we will do Costco as well for y'all, for those of you who are Costco memberships, but we're Sam's Club, but we'll do both. We don't discriminate. And the last one is one that is actually in two different modes on my shop. You can actually, I've got six of the physical copies where I actually mail you the tracker, but you also get the zippered envelope that has the black zipper on the top. Yes, for Black Friday. Or you can actually buy just a tracker and just print on demand at home yourself. But if you're buying the actual tracker with the zippered envelope, I only have six in stock, y'all. And once those are gone, I have to restock. So. $10 is going into Black Friday. We haven't done Black Friday in years and years and years since my kids were babies, but we're going to save up this year. And I'm taking, I don't know if I'm taking Philip or Don yet. It's whoever gets, whoever wants to get up that early in the morning, freeze the rear end off and go with me. We are putting $10 in, so two fives. And again, there we go. We got that thing here. We have six of these in stock right now. And I will go ahead and restock because they have the colored zipper tops. I have other colored zipper tops over here off to my right-hand side. But those are going to go with trackers that you can buy, which are the savings trackers here, and the zipper top. And I'm going to match those with dice and do dice games with those. So that is what we have for that. So this one is done for today. And the new set of trackers that are coming on board, y'all, there's a ton coming on board. Don't let me lie to you. But these are the ones that are coming on board. So far we have the A buck, the B buck, the C buck. Oops, let me make sure I get in the frame here. D and the E buck. Now we are gonna sell these separately in case you just want certain letters. But if y'all want the whole 26 letter pack, hold tight because we will have those up this weekend. And then you can save a lot more money if you buy them in the pack versus buying them singly. The trackers on my shop are $1.35 a piece when it's a single tracker. In packs, I try to lower the cost overall so that you guys can buy them together. The pack of A through Z, we are going to do it two ways. Either you can have it printed from me and shipped to you directly as a pack, 
or you just buy them singly because I'm not gonna put the whole pack online in one lump sum right now. The only reason for that is we are having a problem creating these and then moving them over to one project. So if you guys know how to move 26 projects into one so it prints out one time, please let me know. Um, or otherwise, we can just print, uh, put them in individually, but I don't think, honestly, that it'll give me 26 slots to put in all 26 so you can print out whichever one you want. I will give you guys an update this weekend on whether we're allowed to do that. I'm going to check that out this weekend. In fact, I'll probably check it out tonight and see if I can do 26 different links in one go. If I cannot, then right now, currently, the pack will actually have to be shipped to your house. But if you only need a couple, y'all, don't buy the pack. Just buy one at a time. If you only need like a couple of the bucks, just do it that way. So we got A through E done so far, but we do plan on finishing up the pack, and that is what we're doing. So that is another set that's going to be coming on board. Again, if you guys have any ideas of any trackers that you want, let me know. I'll make them. We'll create them. My son will help make them, obviously, because you think blind people actually make trackers? I can't see them. But my son can, and he's phenomenal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that taken care of. And again, if you want something personalized that has like your name, a personal kid's name, a pet's name, or something you want personalized for yourself, I can sell that off of Etsy and I can sell that privately to you. Again, it'll just be $1.35 and I'll just send you the link and you can print it. So any questions, comments, concerns, and or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Again, we will be doing the dollar bills for Team Mustard and Team Ketchup on Monday because I lax and forgot to put that in. So today is the last day to get into my 1K giveaway. I think it's the last day. Oh my gosh, is it? <laughs> Anyways, we're doing the giveaway on the third and that is for four $25 e gift card giveaways. You'll have your choice of either Amazon or Etsy, y'all. So with that being said, we'll catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.